Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter, and I have a post review for you today. Hope you guys are doing well, having a great day, having a great week, uh, weekend, whatever day it is you happen to be watching this video on. Um, but anyway, Mother Earth is finished. Yay, I love her. She turned out beautiful. So, um, I did a couple things to her that were a little bit different than what, um, you know, how it was charted. Um, so I used, um, a special drill on this one. I used an original sparkler. We'll talk more about that here in just a few minutes, but I wanted to get this angle and you're like way up there, um, but I wanted you to be able to get this angle so that you could see most of her at one time because, you know, I just couldn't get all of her in um, this way. So, um, but we'll look at her um, the other way too. I just wanted you to get more of like a full glance of her this way, um, even though it's sideways. So, you know, just kind of cock your head sideways and, and then you'll, you know, be good to go. But anyway, let's talk real quick about the post review for this one. Thoughts, um, what I did differently, that kind of thing. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn her around so that I can talk about her, but she's gorgeous. She's stunning. So, uh, as we know, this is by Hannah Lynn. If you did not know, if you just stumbled upon the channel here, this is a Diamond Art canvas from Diamond Art Club. And the artist is Hannah Lynn. Um, this is the second Hannah Lynn that I finished. The first one was um, A Savior is Born. Um, I did that one back, you know, around Christmas time. Uh, but anyway, this one is Mother Earth, and look at her belly. Isn't that sweet? So, anyway, yeah. She has these little antlers up here at the top, you know? And then she's got this cute little bird's nest right there with the two little baby bluebirds in there. Um, she has these flowers around her hair. Her hair is in a pretty, like twisted sort of braid with flowers in it. We have the moon over there, the sun coming up over here. Um, we have mountains over there. We have lots of grass and trees. And then we have this pretty waterfall here that goes down into this little section. And you can see there's a little mommy duck and baby ducks following her. Or maybe it's a goose or a swan, I don't know. Um, and then we have a butterfly there, lots of pretty flowers here. Um, looks like little toadstools, not toadstools, what are those called? Is that what they are? I don't know. Um, the lily pads, like the big lily pads, what are toadstools? Are those mushrooms? I don't even know. But anyway, um, so, we have her dress is also a waterfall, if you can tell. I'm going to have to move this arm back down here a little bit so I can get a better angle. Okay. So, anyway, the bottom of her dress is all flowy, and it's a waterfall. I mean, isn't it gorgeous? We have, like, orange over here from the rays of the sunshine up there. And then over here, we have the moon and the stars up there in the top corner. Um, and then her dress is like all kind of like waterfallish, icy kind of looking even maybe a little bit. But there she is with her belly. She's a little mama, Mother Earth with her baby bump. Okay. And it looks like an earth, right? I mean, how cool is that? It looks like an earth. So... Uh, this one had 53 colors, okay, and it had one, two, looks like ABs. It had a blue AB, and it had a white AB, okay? Um, 
so some of the blue ABs will do more of a like a, a once over. I'll take the camera down and kind of give you a little little tour overhead view um, of the canvas here in a few minutes. But the blue ABs um, are up there around the moon. We have some just sprinkled throughout here. Um, and then the white ABs are a lot um, up there around the moon. And then also um, a lot of the these down here, there was a lot of white ABs in her belly. And then in the dress part, uh, there were quite a bit. But what I did, one of the things that I changed was instead of using um, all ABs in her belly, excuse me, instead of using all ABs in her belly, I used original sparklers. Um, and I want to change these out because I started with the ABs. You can see here and here, right here. I started with the white ABs. Um, but then I ended up finishing out the rest of it with sparklers. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I might leave it alone and just leave it as it is. Cause I think it looks great as it is. But anyway, um, and then also if you don't know, uh, I don't have a picture right with me close by, but her eyes, excuse me, let me move you back down here. Her eyes are are originally supposed to be green. In the original charting, her eyes are green and both me and my little girl have blue eyes, so we opted for blue eyes instead. So I just changed out the green to the blue. And I think she looks stunning. Here's a thumbnail image, but I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell. Yeah, you can tell pretty good that her eyes are green there but I like her with blue eyes, so I made her with blue eyes. Uh, you can see down here now the sparklers, the original sparklers here in her belly. There's the white ABs there and there and there, and then I switched them out to these original sparklers, which are phenomenal. I mean, check them out. They're so pretty. And then I put, um, I just mixed the white ABs and the original sparklers together um, and sprinkled throughout her dress where it called for the white ABs. Uh, quit shaking about there. Hold it steady. Uh, but yeah, you can see there throughout is some sparklers with the um, ABs. And they're so pretty. They just look amazing. They look so good. And when it, when the light hits those, oh my God, like you can see up and down through here when I move it, just like that, how the light catches it. Oh my God, it's amazing. So pretty. Uh, but yeah, here you can have a closer look at her eyes. Yes, they're blue. Um... As far as the canvas goes, um, as far as quality, clarity, stickiness, drill, um, trash, that sort of thing, um, this was perfect. I mean, literally perfect. It was sticky all the way through. I didn't have a single unsticky part. Um, I had, this is around. Um, the diamonds were perfect. I had very, very minimal trash. Uh, let's see. The clarity is always good um, with Diamond Art Club as far as the drill field being clear goes. That was perfect. Uh, I didn't have any trouble. I mean, honest to goodness, this was such a joy to work on. Every time you would hear me talk about working on this, I always said how much fun it was. And I said the same thing about the other Hannah Lynn that I did, the other, the Savior is Born. I don't know what it is. These are just fun. I mean, all diamond paintings are fun to work on, but every once in a while you'll do one and you're just like thoroughly enjoy every single second. And that's how I felt with this one. I absolutely loved working on this one. Um, 
I love the colors. I love the like color blocking and confetti ratio was perfect for me. Um, I just adored everything about it. It was so much fun to work. And, you know, I just love to step back at the end of like a diamond painting session. And, you know, that's one thing. If you don't do that, do it. Like if you, I use the rectangular release papers to cover mine up, you know, and I work one section at a time. And, you know, when you're sitting down working on your diamond painting and you're like right up on it, all you see is a bunch of little dots of colors. You don't really see what it is, you know, until you step back. Like I'll, I'll take my reading glasses off and I'll put all my stuff away and I'll stand up and turn my light pad off and then stand back and look at it. And I'm like, oh, if you just look at it from a distance with your light pad off, if you work with a light pad like I do, um, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, I thought I felt a diamond. Not sure if I did or not. Like I felt like I had one on. I don't see one missing or feel one missing. Um, I'll have to recheck. But anyway, um, yeah. So just step back and look at it at the end of each diamond painting session and you'll will literally just start seeing it, you know, come to life. But anyway, um, that's all I have. Diamond Art Club is the bomb. Um, I know they've been having a lot of trash issues with their drills, but apparently they're, they're working on that. They're ahead of the game. They're taking care of business. So that's all that matters. Um, if you've gotten new kids lately, that's got really good drill quality. Let me know in the comments, leave a comment because this is an older kit. This I've had this one for a while. So, um, yeah, I'm interested to know how the drill quality is, um, as of the last, couple of releases you know so anyway let me know what you think and uh have you done mother earth did you make any special um enhancements or changes to her um tell me your story about mother earth i wanted to get this one because i have a little girl that was sort of our like <sighs> miracle baby or rainbow baby or whatever you want to call her you know um, cause we tried for a really long time and then finally we, you know, ended up with our little Jolie May. And, um, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I want to get it, you know? Um, but yeah. So anyway, I'd love to hear your story. So share them with me. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure if this one's still in stock at Diamond Art Club, but you can take a gander. Um, I'll have a link to Diamond Art Club in my description box below. If you're new to Diamond Art Club, never purchased, there's a link in my description box where you can get 15% off, I believe. Um, but that's only for new, uh, new customers. So anyway, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Once you click on that, you can just go to the search feature on Diamond Art Club and search Hannah Lynn, or you can search Mother Earth. Um, and see if she's available. So, uh, that's it. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Like I said, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding to get notified of all the videos that are coming out. Also, if you've recently subscribed, hello, thanks for coming and joining me. Glad to have you here. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.